Hey guys, what's up? This is Mooney B123 coming today. I want to make a video today showing you how to replace the charging port on your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. My phone is not charging whatsoever. I dropped it the other day and I don't know if that has something to do with it or not, but it doesn't matter. I've tried different chargers, two or three different chargers that I know have worked with it in the past. I put another battery in it that I know is working that's in my wife's Galaxy Note 2, still won't charge. I've tried plugging into different outlets at my house. I've tried plugging into an outlet at work. I've eliminated all of those variables, and so really it's it's coming back to the charging port is the problem. Down here, we're gonna have to be replacing this. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It's possible that it's something else, but I think that's what our problem is. So I've already got this part ordered. Got this ordered off of Amazon for eight or nine bucks uh, with my, Prime free shipping got it for a total eight eight nine dollars so pretty cheap on that <clears throat> now the two things you're gonna need is you need a small Phillips head screwdriver very small and I uh, I think this one is a 530 seconds if I'm not mistaken I'll annotate that on the screen here but uh, you need a very small Phillips head screwdriver so this is the same screwdriver I used on, on my other video where I repaired my Galaxy Note 1. I think most dollar stores, Dollar Tree or Dollar General or Family Dollar or whatever your, your dollar store is, I think most of them are, will probably have a, uh, a screwdriver set like this. The other thing you need is some way to pry, pry open the phone because we're going to, I'll show you in a second, we're going to have to pry the front half from the back half of this. And it's what I did is I just took an old SIM card uh, holder where the SIM card was in here. This would work with the credit card, an old credit card, or anything like this. But it's what I did is I took this and I just filed it down a little bit on the sandpaper and kind of made this edge into a sharper edge here, kind of like a knife. Now, you can go on eBay and you can order a cell phone repair kit. It'll have screwdrivers, it'll have prying tools that, that are made for that. I've also heard that guitar picks work out good. So if you have a guitar pick, you can use it. Same thing as what this does right here. In fact, I may try that while I'm doing that with this guitar pick. But you can go on eBay and you can order a whole set that has all kinds of screwdrivers, kind of prying tools and different stuff, and get those for fairly cheap. But I was wanting to get it done now, and so I was wanting to have stuff that I could that I could go and buy right now and could go to my dollar store and grab this and I have this here at the house so anyways that's what you're gonna need very small screwdriver head Phillips head and some prying tool to pry apart the, the part the pieces here so let's go ahead take the back off take the battery out take your sim card your uh, sim card out micro SD card out get all of that out of there now there's gonna be several uh, screws that are gonna have to come out here and I haven't counted them yet, so I'm going to count them right here on screen with you. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Make sure I didn't double count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. So all 11 screws are going to have to come out there. So I'll go ahead and do this. Okay, way harder to do stuff on camera like that, but there's 11 screws that have to come out there. Those are all silver screws. There'll be another little black screw we're going to take out in a second. Now from here, the front half and the back half, there's nothing else holding these two together except some plastic tabs. So what you're going to do is either take the sharp edge of this credit card, SIM card tray, whatever, SIM card holder. Or, or your pick. That's what I'm going to try to do is use this pick. That's what you want to do is you're going to run the pick or whatever it is, something plastic so it doesn't mar anything. You're going to run it down 
in between there like that. And so what you're going to do is you're going to be filling a bunch of little tabs kind of breaking loose in there. So they're just, oops, take out the stylus. Okay, kind of running around up in the corners there. Okay, and now one thing you gotta watch for is there's an extra little tab, little plastic tab that catches right here. And right here you can see kind of where, see where it's kind of pinching, where it's kind of riding up there. There's a place where it's catching right there. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pick shove it kind of up underneath there and it let that one loose and there's no way to really get to that one there we go see that little tab right there is what was catching right up in there Okay, now the charging port is right underneath here. And we need to take this one screw out right there using the same screwdriver. And right underneath here, this is the little part that we're about to replace board right here sorry we're gonna be replacing this part right here so there's a tiny little uh, a little antenna cable here that needs to be unplugged okay, I'm unplugging this tiny little cable here and then there's this little snap connection right here needs to be pulled loose. This little board right here, all it's holding is just some two-sided tape underneath there. So if you take your pick, slide it up underneath there, just pry that loose. Alright, so that's what we're going to replace. Now on this replacement part that I got, Right here, there's some. Pull that. Looks like on here, I need to probably get this piece of tape up here. Okay, need to pull that up because there'll be another piece on this other one, on the replacement one. All right, so I'm going to set in here first just to make sure everything looks good. Looks like it's the right part. Make sure that we're gonna get this back over there. Okay. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this tape off, and once I pull this the backing off of that, I'm gonna be real careful not to touch that as much as I can. Slide that up in place. And make sure it's in place first. Make sure that you have this little this little cable right here on top and once I kind of feel like that's all good in place then I'm gonna just give it a good mash there make sure it gets pushed down real good then I'm adhering that tape on the back side there alright so once I do that and I'm gonna snap this connection right here Get that pushed all the way down and then make sure that we put a little cable back in place right there. Snap that little cable back in place right there. Little tiny thing, tiny little connection just barely snaps on. Alright, so making sure I've got that on. Making sure I've got that on. 
and then from there it's just putting it back together okay while I have it open you might as well inspect everything make sure everything looks good So now what I'm going to do is do everything in reverse. Let me double check on this little connection here. Okay, so go ahead and do everything in reverse that back on okay when you put this part back on you're gonna feel a little bit of a resistance because of these three little brass colored contacts right here they're gonna be kind of pushing up a little bit so when you put this on it's not gonna sit flat down you're gonna kind of feel a little bit of resistance but that's fine that's what you want those to be able to be making really good contact so push that down And on all of these screws right here, don't over tighten them. It'd be better to have them a little bit loose than to, than to over tighten them. Okay? Now, Kind of clean this out here. Okay, one thing you be careful of is right here on your headphone jack. There's a little plastic piece, a little rubber piece actually that that fits kind of around up in there like that. This little on the headphone jack, there's this little rubber piece that fits kind of up around here. Make sure that's pushed back down into place. So I'm gonna put this on. Make sure that that stays like it's supposed to. Make sure that, that that rubber piece from the headphone jack stays where it's supposed to. And what we're going to do now is just start snapping this all back together. So basically like putting the case or the, the back on as we put these two halves together just make sure you get that all snapped back together really well. Alright, and from there, start putting screws back in. Alright, so there you go. It should be pretty simple. Let's see if that fixes it. Let me grab a charger real quick. 